So today, approximately 2.40, two sheriff's department pulled up in front of my house and arrested my husband. The fact of the matter is, is I believe it was all bogus because they can't find anything on him, especially me. He's, uh, he's been a really good citizen. He's a good husband. He's a good family man. He stands up for his rights. That's why they have such a huge problem with him. Um, I asked to speak to him. They would not let me. Uh, I asked what the warrant was, and they hesitated. Um, and then he finally said it was harassment and misdemeanor. And um, honestly... Um, the only people he's been harassing, really, it's not even really harassment, it's actually just filming officers in the line of their duty, which the Supreme Court said that we can do that as uh, American citizens. If they have a problem with it, I believe that means they're corrupt. I also believe that Crawford County Sheriff's Department, their Sheriff Ron Brown, which, um, He's not running again for sheriff for 2020, thank God. Uh, I think, honestly, he sits and eats donuts all day behind his desk with a cup of coffee that's probably spiked with liquor. Um, I should be able to find out something in the next hour or so. Um, I do believe it's all bullshit. I believe the officers were very rude. I will admit I did yell. I wanted to speak to my husband. They wouldn't let me, like I said. Um, they cannot arrest me. One of the officers started to arrest me. The fact of the matter is you can't arrest me for yelling and uh, voicing my opinion. I'm not disrupting nobody. I mean, literally, I live in the middle of the country. Who the hell am I aggravating? The deer flock that runs behind my house, and there's a couple of bears back there, too. I mean, am I interrupting delivery or something when it comes to those animals? Hey. No, I am not deliver. I'm not interrupting. Um, I'm not being disorderly. They're out of their mind because that's what they'll try to put it put it under. Um, I'm very upset. Uh, I want my husband home, and he will be home. Um. The officers refused to give their names. Um, they wouldn't give it to me at all. Um, they were, I, I think they were very stuck up, especially that one fat ass cop that looks like he can use another donut. He was bald headed and he was wearing shades. I filmed the entire process when they got up to the top of the hill, which we call it Chastain Hill, um, which is probably not, but I don't care. But the road's Chastain. They were pulled off into a church called Church of Christ, and they wound up having to call EMS. I let them know that my husband has seizure. My husband is bipolar. He has a pinched nerve, um, scoliosis of the spine, deteriorated joint disease. Um, I, I feel they are discriminating against him, mostly because of his mental health. Um, and their law enforcement in general are really good at discriminating against people with mental health and I find it very wrong. It's um it's like oh there's something wrong with you mentally. You're going to you, you know, it's they they just pinpoint these people out with uh mental disorders and that's wrong. Um I'll have more for you guys um, as, as soon as I find out anything. And as far as I'm concerned, I haven't voiced my opinion against law enforcement at all. In fact, I have kept my mouth shut. My husband does most of the speaking. Um, you just pissed me off. You are liars. You're corrupt. This entire country knows you're corrupt. Everybody's like, oh, poor blue line. No, fuck the blue line. 
there's going to be a day when blue line does not matter. And no one's going to care about the blue line. And for the fact that everybody wants to, there's a lot of people that want to stand by the blue line. No. If you stand by the blue line, you are corrupt as well. Which means you stand by their corruptness. And you say that it's okay. It's not okay when innocent people get behind, uh, put behind bars. It's not okay when law enforcement is willing to put out more effort to protect their own. That's not okay. You are put in that position. You put yourself in that position to protect the citizens. And very seldom do you do that. You are evil. You are corrupt. I am disappointed in the people who wear this uniform. They misrepresent the reason in behind the badge. The true reason behind the badge. You are fucked up. You are corrupt. And like I said before, there will be a day when that does not matter.